So this is like the color I'm gonna try to go for. It's weird because my, my hair is like different colors throughout. Some of it's darker over here. And then I'll get blonde up here. It's kind of strong. I don't know. It's weird because like, look how dark my hair is down here. But then I, I get blonde up here. Yeah. Like my dad's a brunette. My mother's side is a brunette. I don't know where the blonde's coming from. <laughs> I mean, a little bit of blonde. This is too hard because like my hair feels like a horse. Oh, you like because, horse's hair because yeah, the bleach. So the bleach. I'd, I'd rather just stay close to natural so it's not so hard to keep up with. But I'm like, all oh, your hard work. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So I lost 16 pounds and now I'm looking at this mirror like, where, where did oh, I lose no. it? Oh my gosh, I still. I'm sure you feel better and yeah. close to better. I'm I sure. still have like 80 something or not, something close to 90 pounds to lose. Oh my gosh, so. you want to lose that much? Well, that's what the, I started Weight Watchers and that's going really well. Okay. Every time I see you, I'm on a new diet. <laughs> hey, but, now you gotta see whatever works and stick with it. Yeah. You know, that's really cool. Make it, make it the cake. But it seems to be working. That's awesome. But I feel like as soon as, as whenever I start to feel good, I'll stop. Yeah. But with Weight Watchers, you have to get to a certain point to like, for them to think you've, you're finished. I think mine's 135 and I'm 215. I guess some people can get notes from their doctor uh -huh. that, that says like they can be done at this weight and then Weight Watchers will like let them complete the program. Okay. Because I have to pay $20 a month to be on Weight Watchers and okay. once you reach your goal weight, you no longer pay ever again. You're like an ambassador. Oh, Yeah, okay. and it's free for life. So it'll be just like two inches off the front or so because most of it's coming off on the back and yeah it is hard to tell like what it looks like from the front mm -hmm. but go with your best judgment i don't know okay. you're the expert <laughs> that's a cool picture thank you do you know if it's anybody or so i think i home goods so <laughs> home goods is awesome yeah. so is um hobby lobby <laughs> Yeah, I saw some really cool pictures at Home Goods. There was a hu huge picture of a zebra. <laughs> a zebra. I can oh, back it up zebra. so we can see see you. <laughs> Unless you don't want to be seen. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Is that good? I like the first video. The okay. First artist, like, not really cool. Oh, we'll back from it. Okay. I think a, um, one of your family members commented like, what did they say? That's my cousin? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was my nephew. My aunt. <laughs> yeah, I was like, aw. <laughs> I can try to fix this tripod. Yeah. There we go. Got it straight. Yeah, there's a really big picture of a zebra there, and we wanted to go back and get it for Aiden for Christmas, but we never got a chance to go back. I wonder if it's still there. How are the boys doing? They're good. I was going to tell you, if today was better, you can bring them today, too. Um, yeah, but it's today for my fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, one of my uh, appointments rescheduled Saturday, so okay. my afternoon opened up. Yeah, they get off at 3, 15. I was telling Harvey he's coming to see you soon, and he was like, I don't want to get my hair cut because he's he's so he's a different he has different personalities when he wakes up. When he wakes up, he's like the worst, <laughs> and then like he just you know snaps out of it yeah. and. Aiden's like, why can't I go today? So he'll be happy. I'm like, oh, I told Lily what you said. And she said, you can go today. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. They're so cute. Yeah. Look at all the different colors in my hair. I never noticed that before. She put in the light. It's like brown, orange, and yellow. And yellow. Uh, then I, I need to knock on some wood, but um, winter's been pretty good to us this year. January. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Knock on wood. Well, the longest <laughs> month slash year is over. Yeah. <laughs> January drags. Ugh. Remember last year all this time was negative 21 or oh, something man. crazy. We made history. Uh-oh. Someone's going to interrupt us. That's okay. <laughs> That's what the edit button's for. <laughs> You've been uh, documenting your weight loss journey? Yeah, yeah. on YouTube.
I don't really do mukbangs in there anymore because it's it's kind of hard to do mukbangs with Weight Watchers. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, it seems like you don't really do well on YouTube doing mukbangs unless you eat a large amount of food oh, okay, on okay. camera, and I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I do it because I'm overweight, but doing it on camera is just like awkward. <laughs> These people do it. There's a couple that will like pretend to eat it uh -huh. you know like they'll eat it on camera and then they'll edit it out them spitting it out like oh such a waste of food but yeah that's what a lot of them do wow i didn't know that okay that's the tea that's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> behind the youtubers <laughs> <laughs> wow. i'm not gonna but i'm like so anti-waste food like there's no way i would like pretend to eat it and spit it out and edit it If you saw the amount of food that was on the table, you'd be like, yeah, they got to be spitting that okay. out. <laughs> There's one guy, he'll order like every fast food restaurant known to man, he'll like, and like have a whole table full of food. There's just no way. Wow. I feel bad because my husband likes the blonde hair, but I just can't. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You had it long. Yeah. Let's buy a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these, a lot of these wigs these days look amazing. Like, oh, you can't sure. even tell. Yes. yes, yes, I agree. I'm having a makeup problem because I can't find my makeup anywhere, so I've been like using random crap trying uh -huh. to figure it out. What do you normally use? Um, All May Ivory. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying like different ones right now. This is. Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> I've been like mixing colors together, trying to find a match. I hate it. It looks good on camera, but in real life, I don't think it looks good. I need to uh, make an appointment with the, um, who does the makeup here? I can't remember her name. Um, well, her, the original, the one you've met, yeah. she's not here anymore. Oh. She had another baby, so she's, you know, focusing on her family. Oh yeah. Um, no worries. But we do have, a makeup artist who um, works with us when we have like weddings and parties. Oh, okay. So, I missed my yeah. chance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she would be, I, I would say she would be up for it, but um, she's on like on the pricier side. Yeah. yeah. When was that makeup and mimosas for? That was um, with her. That was her name, Cynthia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Victoria was the one you met. It was 65? 65, yeah. It's not too bad. Full face and lashes. I would pay that. I don't want the lashes though. <laughs> no? Have you had them before? I just heard, like them? I've just heard things. Like, I, I don't know if I would like them. What? My friend Natalie said something. She said, once you get them, like, you really have to, like, really get on them or something like that. Or, oh, no, she said something about the shower. You can't wash your face or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's with um, the extensions. When she applies the makeup, they're the strips. Oh, so yeah. just like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's... she just adds to your lashes. Oh, you know, just... so they're not like those. So, oh, no, okay. No, no, yeah, no. no. Yeah, tell her I'm interested. Yeah. We're actually having, we're trying to have a Valentine's Day event on the 15th. Okay. Um, not, um, only, I only have two people so far. I'm trying to get to at least four to, to have Would she care event. if I brought my camera? No. I can't she tell you till Friday if I can go. What time is it? From 12 to 4.30. Oh, okay. You have to make an appointment. So, you know, yeah. whatever time. Because it so, takes about 45 minutes to apply your full face. And the camera would be okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she would be okay um, with the camera. So can I message you? Uh, talented. Yeah, of Okay. Because I won't know till Friday when my husband's schedule comes out. Yeah. And I have uh, parent-teacher conferences in the morning. Yeah. Let me know. And I'll do your hair. Okay. Camera. <laughs> and then hopefully I have a hot date after. Yeah, hopefully right, my husband's yeah. off. Come home and be like, well, it gotta take me out now. <laughs> oh my god, we have never yeah, been right. out on Valentine's Day. Oh really? Because we hate the crowds, well, we... so we celebrate early. Okay. But if I'm gonna have my makeup done, we're gonna have to okay. do something. Yeah, you have to do something. <laughs> Go to Red Lobster with fifty thousand other couples. <laughs> hey, you know sometimes. Where do you think people go? Where do people? Where do you think people don't go for Valentine's Day? They go to White Castle. Right, right. Yeah, that's one of them, <laughs> for sure. They go to Outback. I don't know where. 
McDonald's. That would be so lame. McDonald's. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. probably a fast food restaurant. Have you ever been to the Omelette House? No, I have not. Oh my gosh, it is insane. You have to go. Where is that? I don't know. <laughs> My husband, I get in the car, my husband takes me there. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll screenshot it for you. I'll, I'll send you a screenshot. For I kept sure. to look it up. It's, it's, it takes about 30 minutes to get there or so from here. Okay. It's in the Indiana. City? Oh, okay. It's in Indiana. Okay. Oh my God. Best Delicious. country fried steak I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you eat meat, but mm -hmm. it's crispy. It's so good. Like every time we, we've been there like 10 times now we just discovered uh -huh. it like two months ago <laughs> Wow! and um it's reasonably priced they're only open till three okay so it's so it's yeah there. the owners are so sweet uh, oh yeah you gotta put me in on this yeah it's it sound for good breakfast spot. yeah it's the best breakfast place i've ever had and aside from like cozy corner in chicago mm -hmm. that's a good one Where is that? Um, Chicago. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna type it in. I get Google. in the car and I go. <laughs> That's yeah. horrible. Yeah. My husband likes to drive yeah. everywhere, you know. I mean, I'm a good driver. I've, you yeah. know, every, like if I have to drive, he'll let me drive or whatever. If like he, for some reason, can or whatever. But he just prefers to drive. He's been like a driver his whole life. Like he's a bus driver for CTA. Yeah. So he just. And plus, he's lived here, lived in Chicago his whole life, you know, yeah. in the area and stuff. And mm -hmm. he he, knows, can, he knows all the shortcuts. If there's traffic, he's like, oh, I can go this way. It's just like, it's better than him be like, go this way, go this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I missed the spot, you know. So, but it's bad that I don't pay attention. So you're not like, turning around, gotta go east. No. Nope. Then north. Nope. <laughs> you go straight oh to the McDonald's God. and you make a right yeah, and you yeah, see the White Castle next direction. to the Dunkin' Donuts, you make a left. <laughs> That's my direction. Same, the same way. I've never been good at that. My husband mom says, you can never get lost. Just follow east, go hey. east. I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> can oh I, God. do you have a compass I can take <laughs> <Right>. with me? <laughs> that guy, for sure. We'll get lost if I don't have my phone. Your hair looks really good right now. Thank you. Not that it didn't look good before, but I just like, Thank you. I like it. Grow and I also went back to my roots. Yeah, <laughs> so you kind of understand what I'm saying. Yeah. If I ever come in here and I'm like, I want to go blonde, you're going to be like, no. You have to See, tell me no. Do I don't remember. care. <laughs> no, I mean, that happens all the time. Oh, my. I want to go back now. And then you see all these beautiful girls on Instagram with blonde hair and you're like, oh, I could look like that. And then you get it done, you're like, I don't look like that. My niece um, tried dyeing her hair by herself, like a strip of blue. Okay. It looks a little purple. She, she did pretty good. She I will blonde hair? No, she's br brunette. Brunette. Okay. So it did, It showed up in the sunlight, but okay. it was hard to see, but she, yeah. she liked it. I would love to take her in here. Um, she's going to come after she graduated high school. She's going to stay with us for a little while. Uh-huh. And um, I would love to take her to like the makeup, like a makeup event. She's never really had her makeup done ever. Um, my sister-in-law's not really into makeup, mm -hmm. which is fine, but yeah. she like, and I'm not good at teaching makeup. And then she wanted to use my makeup when she visited. I'm like, that's not, you're not like really supposed to do that. Like yeah. share. <laughs> and I couldn't afford to like go buy her everything she right, needed right. Right at that time. So I can answer it for you and hold it to your ear. <laughs> uh, you got hair dye on you? Yeah. Okay. It's Google. Oh. Much. We can give you some free ads. Yeah. That's what they want. That's what they, they want to we, wheel me in. Yeah. We'll give you $200 of free advertising. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be. But bad thing is what? It will keep ringing. <laughs> just answer funeral home. Okay. Let me just mute the ringer. Oh my God, the worst funeral home name in, I think the Chicago area, I think it's Chicago, it was called Burns Funeral Home, the crematory. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it's real. Really? <laughs> we were driving there day, I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. Like the things you don't notice after living here for years. Yeah, I noticed I that a few months ago, and now every time I drive by it, I'm like, that is so insane. Like you got name. some guts. A 
thought that was like the worst. You'll probably see it now when you're driving around like, oh, that's what she was talking about. Carrier. Okay. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm guessing it's the guy's oh, last, name. last name. I'm yeah. guessing it is, but still, like, change your last name. That's just yeah. like, I would know. Please, Or no. name it something else. Yeah. yeah. Co-worker who married into a family who has um, a senior home. Okay. So they they live on property. I'm like, I just think that's so creepy. Oh, I know. It must be so haunted. Yes. Yeah, like, what? I got a, um, I've always wanted a K2 EMF detector because I'm always watching these ghost shows, <laughs> and I finally got one the other day. I'm just testing it out. If if for some reason um, the reviews are kind of iffy on Amazon about it, so. If I don't feel like it works, I can always like send it back. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, my I always have like weird feelings in my basement and stuff. Lately, it hasn't been that bad. So oh, okay. Usually around the holidays, it's weird. What do you um, hear or feel? Um, well, I can feel a presence, but I haven't lately, so I don't know. It's too, maybe it's too cold. <laughs> but yeah, um, really? like I'll see orbs and. Um, really. Things will like be falling downstairs. Like we'll be upstairs and we'll hear stuff. And then if I'm downstairs and everyone's sleeping, I'll have footsteps walking. What? But then I'll go upstairs and like uh -huh. nobody's up. Like they're snoring, and I'm just like, Oh my god, I would be. Yeah. Think, yeah. <laughs> but the oh more you give it attention, the more around it is. Oh my gosh. But yeah, if I, I give like if I give attention to like the spirit or whatever, yeah. it's more prominent. But if I just ignore it, then nothing happens. I notice if I watch ghost shows, mm. like all of a sudden, like it's like, oh, you believe in ghosts? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I like to watch Mozart. Jeez, uh, I believe a lot of what he does is fake, but he's still entertaining. Mm. And then go. Um, I used to watch Ghost Adventures a lot, but not much anymore. And I like to watch exploring on YouTube. I really want to explore like an abandoned place here, but I, like Gary is not too far, but I'm terrified to go over there. Oh, yeah. Scary Gary, really, you know, yeah, just, it sucks because Michael Jackson grew up there. You think they would, you know, have like made it more Michael, like to bring more like tourists to it. It's, mm -hmm. it's bad. A lot of people have done the church over there, but I'm, I'm just scared. I think I've had a group of people, maybe. I'm just there's so many abandoned places in there, there like it's are, an abandoned yeah. hunter's abandoned channel's dream, but. You walk in there and someone's like doing drugs right. and they stab you with a needle or they shoot you or stab right. you. That little boy went over there like what a year ago to sell his Xbox to somebody in Gary and they shot him. That's horrible. They, that, something else just happened too. It's similar to that. I don't sell. I won't sell nothing online. I'd rather give it to someone for free. Yeah. I'll be like, it's okay. in the alley by my trash can. Go get it. Okay. I did that with my elliptical recently. I did that with um, Harvey's old forklift. Like, I don't want to meet nobody. I don't want your money. It's in the alley. There's my address. I'll put it on the page. Go get it. And then I delete my post after. I just, I'm scared of everybody. No, I'm the same way. I'm so. Funny story. You're gonna edit this, right? This yeah, I can edit it out. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want me to edit, just say. I'll edit it out. I promise. Cool. We're back. We're back. <laughs> so that was that was that. That's tea. You'll never know. <laughs> For sure. Like, what did you think about the show? Um, I I um okay. <laughs> so we get to the I get to the school. Because I'm a chaperone. Oh, because okay. it's so for it's the, the field, field trip. trip. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. The drivers are fighting about paychecks and how the school's gonna pay them. So they sat there for 15, 20 minutes oh, no. before leaving because they were like, "Where's our check?" So I guess my my um, son's teacher had all the checks in the back of the bus. The teachers, the school bus drivers ahead were were arguing where the money is, and none of the teachers okay. knew okay. because the school gave my son's teacher all the checks for everybody. Okay, okay. I didn't know that's how that worked. I didn't know, yeah, I know. I, whatever. So they get paid so, on the job, like for the job. I guess. <laughs> okay. So we drove, you know, to Chicago to see it, and we got there at pretty much. Ten, um, I forgot. I think the show started at ten thirty, and we got there at ten twenty four. Okay. So there was a really long line outside. So I missed half the show. And I really wanted to see Mary Poppins, yeah. but we got there right as it was wrapping up and Mary Poppins was like going back in there. Aww. So 
I don't know what happened before Mary Poppins. Was that like the start? It was the start. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the start. Um, before then, it was the um, the guides, the road trip guides. Okay. Um, okay. Explaining the show. Oh, okay. So I didn't miss much. I wasn't sure. Now, at least I was able to talk to you. My favorite was Toy Story. Okay. And I filmed it, put it on my channel. Oh, okay. I didn't get copyright striked. I, I mean, I didn't get copyrighted for it, which I was surprised. Oh. I put it on with the intention of knowing that would probably happen. Okay. Because you only get a strike um, for certain, like you don't get um, like a strike for uploading content with music. You just don't get the revenue they do, which would have been, I don't care. Disney yeah. can have the revenue, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Give them more money. They already have like billions right. and billions. You know, right. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't need the quarters. It's okay. They can, have, the they, can have, they can have the quarters I make for YouTube. But no, so far it's been like whatever, but it's um, it's under made for kids. So now on YouTube for made for kids, you don't make as much. Mm. And so it's like, I heard that it's, your subscribers aren't gonna be notified when you upload made for kids content, but um, my husband subscribed to me and he got, you know, notifications. So I guess that's not true. Okay. So that's one of the things I was worried about when the whole COPPA thing went down with like, no one's going to know I uploaded and stuff. Mm. But it has over a hundred views. So I'm, I guess cool. it's fine. Uh, both your sons get to see it? Or yes, yeah. and oh, okay. weirdly enough, Harvey was, um, I could only chaperone one of them. So uh -huh. I did Aiden because people signed up for Harvey's class faster than me. Mm -hmm. So I, they made the decision for me. Okay. But we ended up getting sit, to sit next to each other. It was so weird. I don't, oh. Everybody in that whole theater, wow. Harvey got to sit next to me. Because, I mean, we were together with the school, so... But I had handed the lady money that was chaperoning him. Like, if he wants anything, you know, here's 20 bucks. And yeah. I said, I'm his mom. And then we ended up sitting in the same row. She's like, she told the kid in front of um, Harvey, like, let him go first because that's his mom. I got to sit next to him. It was so weird. Well, and then, then I had to go to the bathroom. And I walked around and got prices for everything. I'm like, I talked to the lady. I'm like, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> She's like, you want me to give it back to him? Like, yeah. Mickey Mouse is like fifty dollars. Cotton candy is like eighteen. I'm yeah. not buying him a bag of cotton candy for eighteen dollars. Like, no. Like a bag of sugar. Like, are you serious? I was like, oh my god, we went the same way. My kids wanted the snow cone. I'm like, I'm not spending sixty dollars. Like, no, my I bought I bought them a popcorn each and yeah. spent fourteen. I was like, no, that uh, that was horrible as it was. But I didn't wanted them to get something. And then all the kids I'm chaperoning, like, can I have one too? I'm like, I'm not Rockefeller. Did your mom send you money? Like, I don't have any money like that. Right. right. None of these kids had the Aww. money, so I, I felt bad. Like, if, yeah. If, if I would have bought each of them popcorn, I would have spent over $100. Like, oh, let's see, seven times five. I feel bad now. Maybe I should have, but no. one of the kids that I was chaperoning bullies Aiden, so I'm oh. like, um, you're not getting yeah, nothing. Not getting <laughs> when we went to um, a farm, the last field trip I chaperoned for Aiden, uh -huh. um, all the kids were thirsty, so I bought them out of pocket all apple ciders. Oh, wow. I spent a lot of money, uh -huh. and then um, Alan, his mom had just passed away, so I bought him a toy, oh, um, and I bought Aiden nice. something. And I felt bad I didn't buy on, on the, uh, any of the other kids a toy, but I'm like, his mom just died. Like if anybody were to question, they're like, his mom just died. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. just chill. Yeah, it wasn't nothing. It was like some slime or something, but he didn't have any money, and you know, some, a lot of the other kids had money for that trip. And I bought them each an apple cider and I bought them all donuts. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I spent money on it. That was affordable though. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think I spent like 30 bucks and I got them toys, all of them a drink, a drink yeah. and all, and then donuts. And Disney on Ice is insane. Like, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was. I mean, 20, 30 dollars for popcorn. <laughs> The cell phones got me. God, how much does it cost to buy a bag of popcorn? I mean, it's they're making ice. they're making a profit of at least twenty four dollars. Mm -hmm. It's cost them a dollar to make all that. <laughs> it's insane. Oh like, I agree. I'm all for supporting the actors if they get any of that money, but hopefully they do. <sighs> Look at my eyes already popping out. <laughs> With the dark. Yeah. yeah. That is such a cool little brush. <laughs> I'm always like with the boxes, just like, 
splatter, splatter. <laughs> I'm like a hair, I'm like your nightmare, like watch me like, what is she doing? Oh my God. People do love those videos on YouTube though. The L'Oreal boxes and stuff. The thing is your hair color never looks like it does in the box. I'm oh, always happy yeah. with the result yeah. most of the time, but uh -huh. it never looks like the box. So that's like one of the number one complaints on YouTube, like it look like the box. Mm -hmm. But I mean, does anything ever look like the box? <laughs> yeah, not, not if you, it's usually you gotta get it professionally done if you want to get close to what you want. Yeah, okay. All right, now wait. Okay. I just can't wait for the day where I'm like not on a diet. I feel like every time I talk to you, I'm on a diet. <laughs> like, hey, there's nothing like wrong everywhere I go, to... it's like crazy. Back to healthy. I even tried the not being on a diet diet. That didn't work either. <laughs> so this works. How long has it been? A month. I lost 16 pounds. Okay. Well, I lost 10.2 pounds in Weight Watchers. Okay. And then before that, I lost like five pounds in six months, which is like horrible. About a pound a month. It's bad. Does it um, cause stress for you? Like the daily pressure you're cause, taking? Yeah, like you feel stressed. Um, I, I, um, if I have to vlog about it every day, I am. So okay. I've slowed that down. Like I'm only gonna do my Weight Watchers monthly weigh-in once a month. Uh -huh. And. Um, I'll try to do videos like maybe once or twice a week on it, but I feel like I do best if I'm like, cause ma making videos and editing and people, I don't know if people realize that's hard to do. So it's like, I have to document all my food. I have to document everything. And then I got to sit there and edit. Okay. I got to take care of my kids and my kids right. got homework. And there's like, oh, yeah. as you know, so there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's, if there's less stress and I'm not as tired, I do better. So if I'm not filming every second of my life, I'm not so tired or stressed, so. But I love making videos. If I didn't, I wouldn't do it because I don't make like anything. Yeah, yeah. You, you enjoy it. But yeah. It's also tiring. Yeah. Like I made the video that I made yesterday in my kitchen. I filmed, I I I um, filmed off and on for over seven hours. Oh wow. And then I edited for five. Okay. Yeah, I guess people don't really uh, think about everything that goes behind. Just it's not just like pressing play. Yeah. Um, record and then play. I started filming at ten o'clock in the morning yesterday, and I um, finished my final edit at one thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna export it, which takes another forty minutes, but I was too tired. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I was like, I'll wait till the morning. So then I exported when I woke up, then I uploaded it. So technically, I was done this morning <laughs> yeah. so yeah it's a lot of work the thing that also sucks is like after I film this video I get excited like I want to go home and I want to edit it <laughs> I get excited to okay. like see the results yeah. so that's another problem I got a new laptop an Apple laptop for like $900 I've wanted for a long time so I can have this really good editing program mm -hmm. Now I just need to save up for a new digital camera because this one does 4K facing forward, but mm -hmm. the lighting isn't perfect. It can look blurry, which I learned yesterday on the video I uploaded from my kitchen because it looks okay on my phone, but on my TV it looks, I don't like the way it looks. Okay. I don't know. I swear I spend more money on vlogging than I do actually making. <laughs> but like once, you said, once, you enjoy once, it, so. And, and I'm hoping by like, you know, putting money into it that it'll someday get better. Cause I got a green screen now. Okay, and what does that help you with? The, um, the background? Basically I can sit in front of the green screen and I can make any background I want. Okay. I did a couple of my last videos that way. Uh -huh. um, so if it's a green screen, I can, I can film right in front of the green screen. I can turn it into a brick wall behind me. So it looks okay. like I'm sitting in front of a brick wall. Um, so like, there's a whole bunch of, you know, like different, remember that brick wall I showed you a long time ago that I actually bought? So rather than buying like a whole bunch of backgrounds at Amazon, you can turn it into whatever background you want. Mm. The only problem with that is you can't wear a blue shirt, you can't wear a green shirt, and then if you have blue eyes, it can kind of, you know, sabotage you because it can make your eyes turn like different colors because 
it's replacing whatever's green or blue. Oh, okay, okay. So if your eyes are blue, yeah. so you have to like make sure you like are careful with the effect or your eyes can turn a weird color. Um, or you don't take on the background. You don't want your eyes to look like a brick wall or whatever. Um, some people with green <laughs> eyes have a really hard trouble with that. They can't use it. And then another thing that I'm learning is that if I have like something I'm opening up or showing people, if like, like, like for example, I bought a um, TV antenna for my TV yesterday. Mm -hmm. So if I were to film with my green screen showing everybody how it works and stuff, the blue packaging would turn whatever color I want the background. Okay. So if I'm filming a video, I have to make sure the packaging or nothing is blue or green. So it's been a learning process. Oh, okay. But I do feel like it's, I made, I have a couple videos up and then it also helps for taking pictures. Like I can take a picture in front of it and turn the background nice. My husband got it for me for Christmas. I literally only asked for a green screen, like even a green sheet. And he ordered me all these <laughs> lights. He ordered me all these lights. He ordered me this like green screen tripod thing where you hook the, the sheet up. It's huge. I was actually so overwhelmed by it for the longest time. I didn't even use it. I'm like, where do I put it? Like, oh my gosh, like I need another house. Yeah. So, but we we figured it out. It, it's in the living room. So, but. I figured no one really comes over and it's just us, so. So it's like the studio's in the living room <laughs> for now. That sounds nice that he supports you. Yeah. He doesn't like being on camera though. Okay. Every once in a while he'll be like, he'll be in the mood, but he's very camera shy, which I respect. I'm not gonna force him to be on camera. It's like the worst. That's why I always ask you, like, you sure you want to do this? Like I always, like some, some vloggers will just show up to the place of business and they'll start filming. And I'm oh, like, okay. I just, I, I have to, I have to ask. Oh my gosh, I look like a ghost now. <laughs> like I need to change my makeup. Brown Adam, it is wet right Adam's now. family. No, so oh yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand that, but yeah, Adam's family. Do, 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 do. <laughs> What's her name? I forgot. Morticia. Oh, okay. Or Wednesday. Wednesday. That's yeah. what I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Like a fat version. <laughs> I'm always so hard on myself. But I see other people are overweight. And I think they're gorgeous and they're beautiful and I love their outfits, but I'm like, it's so weird. We are our own worst critics. Do you part a certain way for the most part? Um, yeah. Um, I usually like take it actually. I don't part like totally in the middle mm -hmm. and I kind of just- Off center? Yeah, a little bit. It like, looks about right. I think it's can you look down once again, please? I want to see my chin. <laughs> do you have any favorite shows right now? Um, I do not. You know what? I take it back. I'm watching The Outsider and I'm on HBO. Okay. I don't have any favorite shows right now either. No. Even YouTube has been really horrible lately. Oh Shane God. Dawson's uploading today, so thank the Lord. That's my. Okay. He's my favorite YouTuber. Mm -hmm. He's I think he's gonna upload a conspiracy today. What kind of videos does he do? Um, he does conspiracy videos. He does um, like documentaries on people. He used to do funny food videos. He's like evolved. Like he used to, you know, he's been on YouTube for a long, long time. Uh -huh. He used to do sketches like at the beginning. And now he's like really professional. Like he could be have an, he could upload to Netflix type of thing. Like he's uh -huh. really good. I used to film videos too when I was around his age, but they were on the VHS mm -hmm. and I never uploaded to YouTube or anything like that. Me and my friends were always filming, but we were before our time. <laughs> and the videos are such crappy quality and I have them, but none of them will give me permission to upload them. 
I mean, they're on YouTube, but they're private just because they wanted to watch them. And that was the only way I could. Wait, your friends won't give you permission? Or... Well, we filmed when we were like teenagers. Uh -huh. My friend Manuela, Dory, and um, they just, they're different people now. So like we'd be silly running around making jokes and I don't know. Oh, some okay. people just want their privacy, I guess. And I have yeah. to, I like I do, I respect people. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the, not, Manuel was like, I don't even remember doing that stuff. Okay. Like, being silly. Like, yeah. she would, like, wrap toilet paper around her head and, like, you know, just be super goofy. And it was funny back then. And we would, like, we would film all day and then we'd play it for our family. And, like, we would think it's the most funniest thing. Yeah. But now, like, 20 years later, it's, you know, they're, they're different. You know, they don't want it on, on YouTube. I'm in the process of decluttering and organizing my house. I've been working on it for... Like the past four or five months, it's going really good. Yeah. I thought I was gonna be able to minimize way more than I have. Mm -hmm. I got rid of a lot, but there's no way I can be one of those like a minimalist that just has like. Have you seen this show, Tiny Homes? Yeah, yeah. that's so cute. I think I could do that if it was just me. <laughs> yeah. But when you have kids and a husband that has a hobby, it's like impossible. I've just come to the conclusion I'm not gonna. De I mean, I'm gonna declutter, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna get organized and just like keep most of what I have within reason, but donate a lot of it too. Okay. I donated a lot, like a lot, lot. But I went down to like four bowls and four plates, because there's okay. one of each of us. Okay. And it's hard, I ended up buying yeah. paper plates, and like yeah. this is defeating the purpose. And then my niece came to visit for Christmas, <laughs> and she's like, where are all your bowls? It was, just, it was, it was hard. And then I just realized this is not working. <laughs> I needed new bowls and plates anyways. Okay. This wasn't the worst thing ever, but. That's funny. Yeah. And then I had nowhere to put my food. So that's why I bought the pantry. I'm like, mm. I was trying to get rid of all my bowls and plates so I could have food in my cabinets because my old pantries that I have from Target, they weren't really pantries, but they were like these small little cupboards with doors. But they were really, Aiden went to open it one day and it fell on him. He didn't get hurt, but like it freaked me out. So I, was, I gotta buy something that's like sturdy that can mount to the wall, which is why we got that okay. thing from Ikea that's mounted to the wall. Yeah. And so when I got rid of those, I had nowhere for my food, but my whole plan was to put all my food in my cupboards. But then I needed, to, I needed dishes. <laughs> the cupboards are pretty small. Like it looks like I have a lot of space, but they're pretty okay. small. Okay. You know, it sucks when you don't own your home. You can't do anything about it. You can't design the cabinets differently. You can't do anything. Um, so. How long have you guys been there? Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Hardy was one-ish when we moved there, and he's five. Okay. Going to be six in June. I can't remember the exact year. I suck. You know those people that have, like, really good memories where you can remember, like, the first day they were born and stuff? Like, Mary Lou Henner. <laughs> She's from Taxi. She has one of those memories where she can like remember yeah. everything. Remember That's me, not me. You know. I remember one day of kindergarten only. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. My memory is not that great. Um, there's people in high school that have added me to Facebook, and they like have all these stories about me. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> like, oh my god. I don't want to name names. So that probably hurt fi people's feelings. But there's people that are on my Facebook that are from my high school. Like. I don't remember them. But they're like, hi. Yeah, they oh, remember me. Cool. It's kind of embarrassing. Mm. My close, close friends that I hung out with every day on there, like, I know them. Like, right, I know right. them. Well, it's, but, you can still talk to them. Sure. Yeah. Like, so have a relationship with them. But there's quite a few on there that I'm just like, mm, I don't remember you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. Where did you go to high school? Florida and California. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I went to the same schools as Shane Dawson. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, Shane went to DeMille Middle School Elementary. I went there. He went to Lakewood High, and I went there for ninth grade. Okay. But we were years apart. I don't, I don't, I don't even know how old it is. I feel like we're like eight years apart or something like that. Something crazy, but we both grew up in Lakewood, California. He might have been from Long Beach. I'm not sure. I grew up. In, I grew up in Lakewood. I grew up a little bit in Long Beach too. And Torrance. I was all over the place. Then. 
but most of my life was in Lakewood, Turner Grove Avenue. Mm -hmm. I don't got no family that lives down there no more, so I can safely say where okay. I used to live. Do you miss the California life? Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I'm not sick anymore. I used to get bronchitis and um, tonsillitis all the time, like all these, because of Santa Ana winds and stuff, and the quality of asthma attacks, like go in the ambulance asthma oh attacks. Gosh. Since I've left, I haven't had an asthma attack. I didn't have asthma attacks in Florida either. I guess Florida is one of the best places to be if you have asthma. Mm. Um, I guess because immunity. Because okay. my friend Dory had asthma and one of the reasons why her mom chose to like live there was because Dory had asthma. Oh. If I'm remembering yeah. my story okay. right. And then I went back to California after high school in Florida and I lived there for a little while and I started getting really sick again. Like to the point my throat would swell up and I couldn't swallow my own spit, like from the winds. And so I love it there. I miss it with all, and all the, and all, so much has happened since I left, all the fires. Mm -hmm. um, there's this makeup artist named Jeffrey Starr and uh, he lives in Calabasas, California or somewhere, Hollywood Hills, something like that. Anyways, he carries an inhaler with him every, everywhere. Oh, wow, well, because yeah. of the yeah. smog? The, the winds, the, the quality. That would be me if I lived in California, always with my inhaler. I haven't had an inhaler for a while. I had, I've had bronchitis for, um, well, I don't have it anymore, but I had it for like a month and a half, and I thought I was gonna have to message my doctor and be like, I need an inhaler, because okay. it was getting really as, I get um, bronchial asthmatic, at, uh, I forgot what it's called, but bronchial asthma. Mm -hmm. And you got sick like that out here recently, or? Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. So we're trying. I put the pure, put the purifier in our house, and then um, there was some leaking in our basement, which caused some mold under some wood. So we don't know if it's like related to that. So we got rid of all that. And we got a purifier in our basement now. We're gonna get another one. I think it's also because we've been indoors a lot with all the dust. So oh I'm like trying to, trying to de-dust my house. I'm like, I'm trying to do so many things. It's good. It's an old house. So it's like, no matter how hard you try, there's always dust. I need to make a post on my Facebook because we want to renew our vows. Oh, okay. In 2021, mm -hmm. I just don't think people are gonna come. Why? Because all my family is in California and Florida, and like nobody's ever visited me ever, except for my aunt Lene, because she wanted to come see um, Chris Kringle, Chris Kendall Market. Okay. So like, I wasn't her main reason. I mean, I might have <laughs> been like part of it, but yeah. no one's ever. Well, my 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 little sister visited last year, so. Okay. Um, but like. 99% of my family has never like even tried to come visit. Aww. And when we were engaged to be married and we were gonna have a real wedding, like nobody could was like acting like they could come, like not even my dad. Um, not because they were like against the wedding or anything, just because, I don't know. You just didn't even make it out, huh? So we wanna rent a train car from CTA, but I don't wanna spend thousands of dollars and then like it's just, me, my husband, my kids, and his best friend. Because <laughs> I know his best friend, Cree, would come. Because, yeah. you know, he's always been really supportive. It helps when you have money, too. Like, yeah. I understand some of my family just can't afford it. But, um, I have no friends. No, You're my here. friend. Hi, <laughs> <My> friend. <laughs> It's partly my fault. I'm kind of like an introvert. I'm a okay. homebody. I don't really get out, so it's hard to meet people mm -hmm. when you don't go out. <laughs> That's true. That's I haven't made friends with any of the moms at the school. That's except true. for, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, there's a girl, there's a lady named um, Ellen that's um, the mom of one of my, one of Aiden's friends. Like, mm -hmm. she's really nice, but I can't say, like, you know, we're friends. Yeah. She's nice. I just, I don't know. My best friend, Lauren and Megan, they live in Kansas. It feels weird even calling okay. my best friend because we we rarely talk. It's not like I don't love them anymore, but I, we, 
And it's weird because like if we were to like get together tomorrow, it'd be like nothing's ever changed. Like, yeah. So it's that kind of a friend. Those are but the best friends I'm sure have. they have best friends now, you know, that aren't me now. Like, cause it's hard to call someone your best friend when you don't talk to them every day. I don't know. I, I don't know how, to, how that works. Well, now I'm down for a coffee date, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to coffee. Just message me. That's the tricky thing, too, is like, I gotta make sure the boys are in school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can always message me. You go to um, Indie, Indie Bird. Indie Bird, yes. Okay. I'm so sick of. Uh, What's that coffee shop down the street? Comfort Girls? Yeah. It was so good at first, but I don't know. It says you walk in there. I don't know. What do you think? I love it. It's never gonna look like this again unless I come inside. <laughs> Curls are so gorgeous. Here you go. Look at my eyes, it's so beautiful. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm so good to see it. I love it. I hope my husband likes it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's black. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So, this is what brown looks like. Because <laughs> I always get it from the box, and it's always like a dark black. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always it's like one shade or the other. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I should have, and I did this the first time, did not take a before picture. <laughs> I took a before picture. It's oh, horrible. Oh, God. <laughs> I look like a, like one of those, um, when you go to get arrested, I've never been arrested, but when you get arrested, you gotta take a, a what's it called? Shot? A mugshot. Yeah. yeah. I try to make it look even worse, too. <laughs> so make it like a better before and after, but I wasn't that good at it. I should have put glasses on. You know, like those, those movies where the girls are like so ugly. <laughs> You know, they have glasses on, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like, their glasses are off, they have their contacts yeah. in, and they're gorgeous. <laughs> and all they did was take off their glasses, for the most part. All right. Hey, guys. So, I'm leaving Lily's now. What do you guys think? I think it's beautiful. Oh, my husband likes it. So, this is basically my roots. So, this is all natural. So, hopefully, it'll be a lot easier on my hair. So be so damaged. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave in the comments what you think. I think it turned out really good. All right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be filming a day in the life video tomorrow. I was going to do that today, but today ended up turning into a very long um, makeover video, so I didn't really think that through too much. But tomorrow will be a Weight Watchers day in the life video. What we're eating, and I'm going to be out for most of the day. So we're going to have some Greek food and all that fun stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel. She has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to